gas her up. <clears throat> Do it. Jug it. Ooh, she's a jumper. Stroke at gasoline engine? Yeah. 32 cc's. 32 cc's? Uh, no, just two stroke. It sounds like a mini <laughs> Trying to take it easy on it. Run 
doing pretty good. The steering's a little wonky. I need that steering servo. And the grass is a little wet, so she's spinning. Turns to the left better than right. The grass is pretty wet. Very good. Try to run the pack a lot though. Yeah, it goes a little bit high. Probably just because it's a little rich. To us, if you can see that, the intake is wiggling around, so the screws, the intake screws, are a little loose. They're gonna take them out, and put some red thread lock on them, tighten them back up. Which means they gotta take the carburetor off. Big is, right? Same thing as what happened to this one. It must be a Zenoa thing, right? Because this is a Zenoa, that's a Zenoa. I mean, this is a modified to a 38cc, but same thing. It's a Zenoa. Same thing. Yeah, so I'm going to pull this air filter off and take the carburetor off and tighten those screws. I think I'm going to put red thread lock on them and put them back in. Because my other ones stayed tight ever since I put red thread lock on them. They haven't come loose. Lock on wood. Right? Yeah, buddy. So, yeah, the intake's a little bit loose and wiggling. I thought it was vapor locking, because I expected it to vapor lock, but it wasn't that, because it wouldn't stop back up afterwards. And I'm looking at it, I'm just like, I, I know what to look for, because the intakes came loose on the other one, so I'm shaking this one, like, sure enough, it's got a little bit of wiggle to it. So I'm sure it's leaking. I got plenty of gaskets, so if I need a gasket, I'll put a gasket on it, no big deal. I actually already had a full gasket kit for one of these engines already. So I bought it just to have spare gaskets, so I have plenty of gaskets. So let me get her a pot and uh, let me get the air filter off there and get the carburetor off there. Oh, you always want to have good MIP ball hexes when you're dealing with stuff like this. Right, buddy? Without that, we ain't getting this done easily, right? But with a ball in, no problem. Just spin her on out of there. I bring this back. Got two is the screws are a bit loose. I got the car right around screwed and just lowered her down out of the way. The screws are loose, so I'm just gonna take each one out and uh, put some red thread lock on the threads. We'll make sure they don't come loose again. I mean, there are lock washes, and perhaps they just perhaps the intake just wasn't tightened up that much from the, to begin with. I have no idea. I would say with the belt drive and everything on this RC, it shakes quite a bit when it goes, so I don't know, did it shake it apart real quick? I don't know. We'll get it. This 
some red thread lock on there. We'll let her sit. We'll be good. At least a day, anyways. Really gotta let that thread lock dry. Looks like there was something on the threads here. There was a good amount of oil inside the intake. Got a good amount of red thread lock on there. You don't want to be shy with that stuff. Use it. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw that in there and I bring this right back. Ah. Yeah. It was definitely loose though. So at least I know I found the trouble. <clears throat> I still need to vent that gas tank. Hey tubers, I pretty much got it all back together. I just uh, had to clean the uh, the filter that was on the, the outside. There's a green one inside there and a, and, a, and a red one. A whole bunch, good amount of green oil was in there. He really oils up his air filters really good. Kind of more than I do normally. <laughs> I usually get them tackied up and then I call it good. These were pretty well drenched. suppose it won't hurt it, right? You gotta keep that dirt out of there. I kind of think I should keep that outerwear on top of it. Even though it kind of looks funny. I think it'll keep some of the dirt from getting in there. It's funny that he had this air filter on this motor because it fits perfectly in here. Because the one I was using before was this bad boy. And this is just a cheap, you know, China special with an outerwear on it, of course. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I could use this, but I have to change the adapter on it and stuff. So I'm gonna stick with with this one for now because it's small and it fits in there good. I clean the filter. I'm gonna oil it with what I have. I have Traxxas. This is Traxxas brand air filter oil from Traxxas. It's what I have, so that's what I'm using. It's what I've always used. Well, I've always used whatever I had. That was, so for the last few years, that's what I've used. It's wicked tacky, see that stuff? It's tacky. Since this is the exterior filter anyways, we get it all tacked up here. But this stuff's really sticky, so. I think because it's sticky, it's gonna work good. I just gotta put the cover back on. I'm gonna go wash my hands first. Tubers, it's all back together. That air filter is sweet looking, let me tell you. So, the uh, only reason I cleaned that outer filter was because I dropped it on the floor and it got covered in cat hair. And once you get cat hair all over, I don't want to suck that stuff into the engine. So, I cleaned it, oiled it, and put it back in there. I'm gonna let this thread lock for at least 24 hours so yeah probably maybe uh, I don't know maybe tomorrow night I, I have other RC's I can drive I can drive this one this one's due and the nitro so I'm gonna let it sit for a good 24 hours at least let that thread block cure and we'll take her back out but the tank's full of gas I'd like to use it yeah buddy I only used like uh, almost a quarter of a tank running it. You see how much fuel is left, it's right through there. 
So it used about four of a tank. So yeah, buddy. I bring us back and I get more to show you. Until then, y'all stay confident but humble. And God bless you all, man. God bless America. God bless our country. Peace.